Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be a community update for January 3rd, 2020. Glad I didn't mess up that date. I was making a note to not say 19. It is 2020, and in this video, I'm going to be going over Whale Wars 3.0. We've got a competition slash tournament with Valkyrie as the reward, so I'll dive into that and also kind of the offers and events and kind of things that are going on in general in Raid right now, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so... First of all, let's uh, let's start at the top here and go over the uh, the event section. So obviously, Dungeon Divers is ending soon. I went ahead, got this done. It's a pretty standard, normal event. It's always worthwhile to grind dungeons, especially if you're kind of you know towards the end game. You can never really go wrong. Uh, you know, dragons typically the one that people like to. Uh, you know do the most because of the speed and lifesteal sets and then spider is number two and then after that just kind of whatever you know sort of pieces you need um but yeah that one was a, a pretty normal event nothing too crazy to talk about i went ahead and maxed it out because there was no reason to really not do the uh the the dungeons that i needed to get done um you can also double dip and do the campaign the artifacts that you get from the campaign will count towards dungeon divers so if you're a newer player and you're prioritizing xp Go ahead and, and just grind the campaign and put that towards your uh, dungeon divers. The artifact enhancement event, I wanted to talk about that for a little bit because that's this is like the third artifact enhancement event within the last like 20 days. So, Plarium is really making a note to uh, like bleed us of our silver a little bit. I think they um, feel like they didn't do these for a while. People were uh, really starting to acquire a lot of silver. Lots of your end game players have anywhere from like 10 to 50 million silver. They're really trying to crank these out and uh, and get the average silver of the player base to kind of drop a little bit to uh, make silver a little bit more valuable in offers and stuff is kind of my theory. Uh, with an epic book, a legendary book, and a void shard, uh, I anticipate that to be a pretty tough artifact enhancement event because those are three pretty good rewards. Uh, the champion training event, that's your normal uh, month-long one. They upped the limit to 225, which was a good move. So uh, it's just kind of free rewards. If you're active, you're, you're going to accumulate these over the course uh, of the month. And you're going to get your free sacred shards and, and some other cool stuff along the way. So I, I like this event in general. Obviously, it could have been structured a little bit differently. I know some people aren't a big fan, but I think all in all, it's pretty good. It's kind of like a, a daily activity reward. As long as you're active and playing the game, you'll kind of get some ancillary rewards here. So I, I do like that event, which I I've said in uh in previous videos so now let's get to the uh the talk of the town here if we go to global on the champion chase tournament going on currently look at this valkyrie so in my tier list i currently have valkyrie ranked as the number one most impactful legendary in the game in terms of summoning her to your account um and for those of you that don't know i'll go really quick i'll go over valkyrie and why she's so incredible so valkyrie is I rated her number one because a she provides ally counterattack for the whole team with her stand firm ability on a three turn cooldown so uh anytime that we can get full team counterattack, it's going to be incredible your main sources of that or i should say basically only sources of that are skull crusher the epic from the ogre and tribes martyr a legendary and then valkyrie a legendary so really only three spots to get that in terms of full team counterattack, and they're all pretty tough to summon with valkyrie and, and uh, martyr being very tough to summon so uh they're also both based on or all three of them are based on defense which is very cool defense champions are typically the best in the game and uh valkyrie kind of checks all the boxes she's got ally counterattack. she's based on defense she also provides a huge shield buff for three turns uh just the stand firm ability in general is arguably the best ability in the game in terms of just general usefulness everywhere across the board uh her ROS faction crips and uh her a1 is nothing super incredible the passive can be kind of handy in certain situations like messing up teams in the arena and stuff but mainly the the like overall general reason that she's amazing is her a2 the stand firm ability with the huge shield and the counter attack and the fact that it's based on defense she's got a really good base speed also of 104 so i put her slightly ahead of martyr just because of the shield you could argue martyr uh it, it should be ranked ahead of her i had martyr number one for like six months and then just recently within the last month or so i i, I swapped valkyrie up to the number one spot so yeah having a uh an event where valkyrie is the reward is crazy because of that it's it's arguably the best legendary in the game and uh 
so this is uh 3.0 like i said in the intro we had a, a an event for hegemon we had an event for martyr and we have an event now for valkyrie so uh hegemon an amazing champion for the arena and then martyr and valkyrie are the two best legendaries in the game in my opinion so they are really slamming these uh champion chase global tournaments with really good legendaries trying to incentivize people to spend thousands of dollars uh if you're curious I believe the Hegemon tournament finished at about 100,000, like low 100,000s, like 108,000 or something. Uh, Martyr was pretty similar. I think it was like 110 to 115,000 points. Valkyrie, I expect to be the same, 110 to 115,000 points by the end of it. If it's, uh, she's pretty comparable to Martyr, so I anticipate the uh, the result of the points required to win her to be about the same. And I, I think Buzzing was up there too uh, on the last event. So Buzzing is really throwing thousands of dollars at the game here in terms of summoning champions. And uh, I do want to note how funny it is that you go from Valkyrie to one legendary skill tome, like. <laughs> like you can't even give some sacred shards or something uh number two is, is is really a kick in the pants you're going from valkyrie to a legendary skill tome so pretty rough there and if you're curious 2600 uh or 26,000 points is about 1500 dollars if you wanted to catch this person you would uh need, need to be ready to spend about 1500 dollars and uh in order to win the event you're probably gonna have to spend somewhere between like six and eight thousand dollars in order to get valkyrie if you want to compete with these uh if you want to compete in whale wars 3.0 that's going to be about the investment you're looking at so uh yeah pretty crazy and i will touch really quick the the way that i calculate that is uh the only way to whale out unlimited in this game is uh to buy these big shard packs over and over after you buy the uh the where is it at packs um but anyway wherever you buy the the uh gems for a hundred dollars where's that at bank oh yeah sorry right here so you buy these 4200 gems over and over for a hundred dollars you use that to uh buy these 900 uh gem big big shard packs and and pull a bunch of ancients that's your only way to like unlimited whales so what i did was i just extrapolate you know how much you can expect to uh you know how many points you can get per shard and how and and like your dollar spent per shard in terms of doing that because you can't whale out unlimited on voids and sacreds you'll run out of offers and you can't do that forever so that's your only way to kind of whale out and summon champions forever so yeah uh if you want to spend about six to eight thousand dollars you can go ahead and compete for uh for martyr i do want to talk about for all of us normal uh you know players what is it going to be like for the tournament here so and uh a lot of you are going to be wondering you know should i pull my shards should i wait for an x2 event what should i do here so um you know when i plug these rewards into the calculator i'll show you that here um so the rewards on the right i plugged them into my offer sheet and it, it comes out to be about a, a ten dollars worth of rewards so if if the rewards over here on the right were a pack you know your legendary book your chicken your epic book your energy your xp and your silver it would be a pack that's worth about ten dollars so uh, is it worth pulling? It's going to take you about 60 to 80 ancients to uh, complete the 2,500 points or about um, probably like 30 voids somewhere in there to complete the uh, or like, gosh, I don't know, like 10 sacreds probably to complete. So I, I don't think it's worth it. I, I, I would recommend waiting for a better opportunity to pull your shards maybe for a fusion event or, or a, a times two something like that if you're a newer player and you're just looking to pull shards with any incentive so that you can you know get new champions for your account it's obviously not a bad time if you're a new player but if you're more towards the mid to end game i would recommend probably skipping this and waiting for an x2 because uh like yes the six piece uh you know full set of legendary relentless six star is cool but do you really want to get into a whale war pulling shards when they're normal summon rates and there's nothing really boosted on them uh because you know odds are you'll probably have two or three people in your group going pretty hard and i don't know if it's worth to get in a war for you know completing to get one set of relentless because odds are if you get the one set four or five of them are going to be trash and maybe one or two of them are going to be usable so uh this would need to be like 20 pieces of relentless in order for me to really feel like i want to go after it Rel relentless is a really good set but six pieces you know odds are one of them is going to be good so uh it's pretty tough to justify going after it and uh I, I you know they were starting to do a better job with the rewards like giving gems and energy and shards and stuff and they, they've kind of gone backwards here on this one these should all be full sets for sure 
and then you know you should get more books and, and more stuff to, to really incentivize going after it in your group uh, so I'll probably be skipping it and I, I just spent like $400 summoning a bunch of ancients and stuff during the uh, X2 event and I've got all those videos up showing uh, showing my summons during that so that was fun but yeah with uh, having spent so much summoning just recently within the last week or two i'm probably gonna have to skip this one and uh yeah that's kind of my take on that let's go over the offers really quick here so this one is pretty common it's in the uh it's in the it, it comes through the shop a lot and uh for those of that you that are curious i'll plug it in really quickly and we'll take a look here uh three two five zero there we go energy is none xp is gonna be none epic book is seven legendary book is seven and gems of 3000 so yeah it, uh, it's basically it, it's decent if you really need the books it's not an amazing offer i typically like to uh you know buy ones that are closer to that 1.9 or 2.0 so i haven't scooped up one of these for a while but it's not like a horribly you know terrible offer to buy if you're in need of the stuff it's just not something i super recommend uh, the special ancient pack. This is the one they're obviously pushing because of the event going on. And if you buy this and use the gems to buy more ancients in that, you know, 900 gem shard pack, you can get pretty close to completing the 2,500. But like I said, it's only going to, you know, be worth about $10 worth of rewards. So is it worth spending a hundred dollars to, uh, you know, get those, those bonus $10 of rewards? I think if you're a newer player, maybe, maybe even into the mid game, but for end game players, it's typically better to wait for those super, you know, good spots to pull your shards like x2 events fusions and and really cool things going on so you'll probably see a lot of the end game type players not scooping this up but i'll plug it in here just to be sure uh, and show you exactly what it's worth here we've got 3.5 silver and 2150 gems uh yeah okay so uh 1.34 definitely not super good what if this was 50 that's kind of what i would make it yeah i think it should, i think it should just be a flat 50 ancients with uh like like 2500 gems and boom now this would be you know something that's pretty close to 100 dollars worth of value that's kind of what i would put this offer out there as especially if there's not going to be an x2 event or anything so uh probably an offer that i'll be skipping there as well when you couple it with the value and the event going on currently Conqueror pack, nothing to go over here. I'm still waiting for the $5 ones to come back so I can buy those. Faction accessories, uh, a $40 Knight Revenant for... Uh, these need to be 6-star legendary. If it's going to be $40, it needs to be 6-star legendary. Let me plug this in and see what the guaranteed value is. Uh, $39.99, 600k silver, uh, 300 gems, 400 energy and none of those so yeah we're only getting about eight dollars worth of guaranteed value so is uh is this worth a thirty dollar thirty two dollar gamble to uh to go after uh absolutely not in my opinion um even if it was six star legendary i would still be saying probably not so this is really kind of a a, a whale offer where people are just looking to uh you know get night revenant jewelry as fast as possible um other than that i don't think it's a great offer for most of us to go after so uh yeah that kind of covers it for this video uh we're finally getting some tournaments and some events we've had a few days off because obviously things were crazy during the holiday season with the tournament fusion and all the constant barrage of, of tournaments and events so uh it We've had a pretty chill week in raid and raid and we haven't really gotten any any notes yet on, on new content or what's coming down the pike uh we do have i think it's been confirmed that like sathalia yannicka and shamrock are being looked at in terms of buffs but yeah that's really all that we know as of right now in terms of what's coming for future content we do have the roadmap which uh didn't conclude in 2019 so obviously some of that stuff will be coming up next but we're still kind of waiting to see exactly what the plan is here for the next uh you know for the month of january in terms of what we're going to be getting so uh yeah let me know what you think down in the comments always enjoy hearing your perspective and as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace